Okay, so I am inviting you into the studio today to take a look at um, a work in progress and um, this is my needle felted tulip piece and I wanted to show you some of the quilting that I've done on one of the large tulips. It's more or less thread painting, um, trying to work with the veins and the petals and wherever there was light hitting it, like right here, I would use a lighter color thread. And wherever it was darker, I would use darker color threads. And I did switch colors quite a bit, as you can see. <clears throat> Let me back up a little bit here. There's some Angelina fibers here that are tacked down by the quilting in this part. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about what how to choose the quilting in the overall piece because this is a question I get a lot. Um, so I decided that number one I wanted to lighten up the background fabric a little bit and to you to choose a color that would suggest the greenery behind the tulips but it would still stay in the background and not take over the tulips. So I chose this uh, slightly variegated cotton, slightly heavier thread that would stand up to the heaviness of the felted wool. And I just started quilting some organic lines. And um, some of the problems that I'm solving with this is that you can see in this area here, this area right here, um, that it's quite, um, uneven between the, the felted areas and so I'm using the quilting to kind of um, even out the the unquilted areas and the felted areas so that it lays flatter. Okay so I had some larger areas down here at the bottom and I didn't mark these ahead of time I just sort of decided that I'm going to stay in the background, but I'm going to create some smaller textures as if there were little plants growing. And I just kept it organic and decided on two motifs. One, this sort of um, pebbled motif and then this fern-like motif. And I just alternated the two. And down here I made it just a little larger because I had more space but it still stays in the background, creates an interesting texture, and flattens down that area and removes some of the puffiness which needed to happen because it was quite bubbly and pu puffy and there's no way it was going to lay flat. So that's how I decided to quilt this um, area between the stems and the flowers of the tulips. You can see that I went up a little higher here and what I am going to do next on this unquilted area up here is I'm going to use a slightly lighter color thread and I'm going to continue to use organic quilting lines and um, you know flatten down that area I'm trying to make it not too complicated but hopefully um, it will stay in the background and look good. This is what the felting looks like before quilting. I haven't quilted this area yet. And then when the piece is all done, um, right now there's no back on it. It's just the wool batting on the back. I'm going to add another piece of wool and then stitch around the, uh, the flowers and um, the leaves to give it a little more um, dimension. So I hope you enjoyed this little slice of my studio work and um, answer some of your questions about how to quilt what and where. Thanks for watching.